So we have six samples mm -hmm. working here with Morton and Karin with the liquid nitrogen. And then we have two samples that we are, it's low input that we need to wait mm -hmm. in another room, in another lab. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to work with low input, but you are going to work with the uh, liquid nitrogen yeah, standard yeah, yeah. input, okay? So I just need to wait the sample and then uh, power machine, and that's it. And all the samples go to the film kit. This is a krill sample. So we have low input samples, around 30 and 40 milligram of tissue. You have added um, one ml of PBS, and then 100 microliters of, of tissue cross-linking buffer. And the incubation times for the cross-linking, etc., is the same. So now we are adding the stop solution, which is a similar low volume. As before, we do inversion mixing. The difference now, you see, is this tissue is cross-linked prior to any crushing. So, later on, we are uh, crushing this with the power masher thing inside this tube. Incubation for five minutes with the stop solution. Sorry, <laughs> low input, the pellet, we can't discard like the other samples yeah. because we have to be careful. So Morton is uh, going to pipette and discard the supernatum. Yeah. So instead of spinning and getting a pellet, we pipe it off the supernatum directly because this is not crushed yet. And the whole idea is to keep the sample in the tube and not pipe it off. That shouldn't be a problem with this type of sample. Five, uh, 300 or 500? 500. Um, if the tissue is very tiny, this kind of sample, uh, you can manage the volume of the PBS. In the end, it's always uh, one mil. But if it, for us, if it, the tissue is very, very tiny, we added only, uh, for example, 300 to start the power machine. Otherwise, the tissue, when you put the little thing, I don't remember the name of it, the, the pencil, mm -hmm. yeah? you push, the, the tissue just go up. Yeah. So you can actually crush mm -hmm. the tissue. So if it's in a little less volume, you can just start to crush, and then you start to add a little more. So these samples are in the power masher tubes, yes, right? Yes. Are special tubes? Yeah, you see, it. you see, you see it. You kind of a gray area on there. So that's where the 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 pes pestle part are gonna hit, and there you're smearing your sample when you crush it. So this now we are going to crush this the samples, the low input samples. And we can see the pellet, and we need to disrupt the pellet like the your other samples. For that, we use the power machine, and it's working. Yeah. So this is going to attach exactly at the side of the tubes. That is why we use this tube, and not the 1.5 Eppendorf. So we just do this. This is actually um, a kind of. Uh, art because it's not just introduced and that's it you have to try to find the, the tissue because sometimes they mm -hmm. just go around and the the the, the, 
the, what's the objective, the goal of this is to crush the tissue, right? So we try to do this. And look around, how is it? It is very cloudy already. Mm -hmm. I can do a little more, but not too much. Like I said in the first day, we try to, in the protocol set, one minute or two. And we try to avoid that. We think that it's too much. So it's cloudy. Yes. So it was, it's very quick. And now these samples. Oops. Again. It's cloudy, but with some I think it's fine. And that's it. We have some I think it's it's good. We normally have this kind of material. So um, yeah. This is better than this, so we will see how is in the end the results, but the, th uh, the nine, the tube nine is better than the tube two, but I don't want to go. Uh, they are the same samples, but a different, I mean, uh, same species, but different group of samples. So we did two different <coughs> protocol, all variation of the same protocol. We have one, what we call standard input. It's for lar larger tissue pieces from around 50 to 200 milligram. You have the low input with less than 50 milligram. The difference there was that we, for the standard input, we crush the sample first, then we do the cross-linking, we aliquot, and then we start to estimate input reactions that we put on yesterday and left overnight. Uh, the low input, you start with a sample, you cross-link it first, then you do the crushing. And then usually you go directly into the prep because you are already low input, right? So there is no need usually to go the route to make alicots and do an estimate input of the low input sample because you do not want to waste material but when you already are low input. Okay. We started with 500, right? We took out 50 micrometers. We s s the leftovers is 450. So we are reconstructing the, the, these beads again, uh, no, that pellet again, with 450. So if we do that, concent the concentration is the same. For the yeah. So if we multiply that by 450, we end up there. And you, you the top of the kit specification <coughs> is 5,000, right? So if you use everything, you are very close to the kit specification, which could be risky if we have underestimated slightly. If uh, the yeah, yeah. concentration is at 15, we are overshooting. So that's why we want to be more in the middle. So we are targeting... Uh, 2,000 to 2,500 nanograms, something like that. And, and you have some leverage on both sides. And it's more frequent that you underestimate taking an aliquot than overestimating? It's not, it's not a uncommon, no. Yeah. Because I thought that it was low input, yeah. I just made one, two. one two. Yeah, But now we can see that it's a lot, right? So from that 450 solution, we are taking roughly half of the volume and continue with that in the prep. Okay, mm. now I'm going to add the 450 to the low input tubes to make the reconstruction and then we are going to take half of the volume and pellet again and start the lysis with that.
So I'm going to prepare a tubes, a new tubes, and I will pellet all to frozen again the original tubes and also the tubes that I'm going to proceed with the Arima protocol. And I will take around 250. Yeah. yeah? Um, sometimes you have to be careful because you have a little tissue, so it's not taking uh, um, in one time the 200 or the f 300 that you want because the tip is not taking all the, the volume, but um, it's fine. Just be careful. And the number two. So now I have four, two pellet and uh, minus 70 again to storage, and these two, the aliquot, that I'm going to pellet to and proceed to the protocol.